Hi, this is a Sweet Speaks, and today is February 2nd, 2017. Today, the President of Finland, Mr. Sauli Minister, held, an opening spe held a speech during the opening session of the Finnish parliamentary, parliamentary session in the Finlandia Hall in Helsinki. And before I go into my comments on his speech, I would just like to say that I have a favorite song by the band The Manic Street Pre Preachers called If You Tolerate This, Then Your Children Will Be Next. Very funny song. It, really, it starts out with the tunes of, of the Internationale, interestingly enough. And then the text comes. And I will put a link in the, in the box below. Because maybe you will get why I like that song. But let's go to the speech. I have read the speech because I don't understand very much Finnish, so I have read the Swedish translation in the Swedish language uh, Finnish media. And among the things he said, uh, President Nienister said, what is intended by the Western world right now? To the west of us, the sun moves over Brexit and further to Trump Tower. The new Western positioning awakens Awakes many questions and wonderings, he said. And he also said, Already in my New Year speech, I said that the voice of, of the EU must be heard in geopolitics. But now it is clear that European voice is very important also when it comes to protecting Western values. Yes, Mr. Ninesta. In theory, that would be a good speech. I would have a few objections because I like Brexit. I like President Trump. I'm, I'm, I dislike the European Union. But hey, I love Western values. And let me tell you about one of the most important Western values that I know, the freedom of speech. In many countries in Europe, in Sweden, in the Netherlands, I think in Germany, but let's keep with Sweden and the Netherlands. Freedom of speech is uh, threatened. People have been uh, have, have been sentenced for so-called hate speech. In theory, I mean in practice, for saying things the government don't want you to say. And this has spread to Finland. Just during the last few months, there have, have been several cases. I think there have been five. When I made when I made a video, if, well, how, how long time ago? About two weeks ago, I spoke about the Tynkkinen case. Then there were four cases in a in a short time. Now it's the fifth one. And in the fifth case, as always, he had sent, said something about Muslims and something about Islam, and you are not supposed to criticize Islam, not even in Finland. And I find this well, very strange. And it doesn't matter what your personal faith is. I mean, I am a Christian, but that does not matter. The freedom of speech is a basic and fundamental Western value. So, Mr. President Minister, if you are going to take these big words in your mouth, you could start off by starting to protect freedom of speech in Finland. I know the president of Finland does not have very much form of power. He used to have in, in, in Kekkonen's time. That was almost like a monarch or a royal presidency. He had a lot of prerogatives and he did more or less Maybe not exactly what he wanted, but well, he had a lot of power. President Inister is more or less of a figurehead. But still, still, he is a representative of the state of Finland. A state that I deeply love. And I have many times thought that I should move there. We'll see. If this channel gets his breakthrough and gives me a lot of money, I'm going to move there. But hey doesn't matter. That's not my point right now. But the thing is, one of the things I like 
about Finland is that it's it's not Sweden. It's not even Norway. Finland still has the mo the freest press in the world, or it had last year, I think. So why are you starting this now? I mean, why are you why are you harming the freedom of speech? Why don't you stand up for it? And the president could still speak out. He could still say that these policies are bad. They harm our country. They make us less of a Western nation. And I think I think you should do that, President Minister. And I think you should stop becoming more and more like Sweden. Because that is the wrong way to go. I do not want a Swedenization of the world. I do not want a Swedenization of the West. And I do not want a Swedenization of Finland. So, Mr. President, this is, these are my thoughts for what you, for what you should do, you and your government. You should abolish the hate speech laws and impose real freedom of speech, like in the United States, not like in Europe. And uh, Hey, this is a sweet speech. If you like this channel, please rate, like, and share. And uh, and if you got a dollar, if you got a million dollars, you could support me through Patreon. I will put a link in the bo in the box below. But anyway, the most important thing is that you rate, that you rate and share and like. And a dollar would be nice. So, this is a sweet speech. Have a nice day.